so hello friends i am neeraj and i hope uh, you are doing great so we have seen uh, many things in uh, our uh, android app development so let us see today a very important concept and that is uh, that is flexbox so using flexbox we can uh, uh, provide a layout so and we can do many stuffs uh, using flexbox so flexbox uh, behaves uh, uh the, actually this is not too much different uh, with the with the web uh, flex so that behaves uh, more or less similar to that with a little differences as well obviously so they are using flexbox so most importantly we will be using these three properties so flex direction to guide like the flex the flex should be horizontally aligned horizontally or a vertical and uh, we will be using align items to position the content inside the flex uh, uh, middle center or start and we will see that those attributes definitely yes so don't worry and uh, justify content to make the content uh, you can say like center or justify content and and uh, other things so and uh, by default uh, 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 by default in the mobile development so by default the flex direction is in column so it is already well written here so i will put the link in of the of the documentation in the video description so you can check it out so by default it is column and uh, i mean uh, we will see that in action when we write the code stuff and uh, uh, during the in the in the in the web development the flex direction defaults to row so these are the few differences so you can you can have a look at uh, here and uh, to get the more idea more appropriate idea okay so without wasting much time so let's dive into terminal and uh, start our uh, app npx react native and start to start our metro so let us wait for some time to and uh, till time till the time it is getting loaded so why don't we come and uh, try to create the uh, stuffs which we need so like uh, in, uh, in in the previous session we discussed that we will be creating individual components uh, so that uh, our application uh, could be more organized and more structured way so inside components and by the way this is our home screen so inside components so let us create a file and uh, name it home.tsx right so home.tsx is inside the component and uh, components directory at the root level and uh, we will start with our nfs react native code snippet with the uh, style sheets because we will need that and uh, here we will be going with uh, see it try to understand it that uh, let us first uh, let us import it here and then we will be designing those stuff so home and uh, why didn't it auto import so yes now it will auto import the home and uh, if we do that so yes the our home file uh, home content home component is imported so let us try to give some styling and uh, so that uh, we can and also like think i think that uh, we should also this uh, yellow is a very i mean very bright thing so we can go with some other styling so let us change it to hash and by the way like there are i will provide a wait a second one moment please so let me recollect it so i'll uh, i will take a reference of uh, nice colors here from here so i will provide the description the link in the description video description so i think like uh, this color or should look good so let us copy that and uh, we will go with this background color and let us see that in action so yes now it looks much better and uh, in the home file so let us create some components 
components so css classes so let's start with the container first and it takes an object and uh, we will see flex and uh, this flex is basically uh, we will assign it to yes to one so that we, we can instruct that yes this is a flex and we will also add some margin top and see 10 and uh, we will also need a card css class so this card this card is itself a flex one and uh, let's say padding and padding 25 that should be okay i think so and uh, flex direction so by default it's column so let us go with that one column and uh, what else we need and yes so justify content center and uh, we will also need to use one more property but let us see that in action so let us see it's a style equals styles dot container and uh, this would be our outer uh, view and inside uh, uh, inside this 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 view we will start with uh, another view and uh, we will see it style equals styles dot card because we will need to use this card okay so and here we will say it home and we will copy it copy it a few times home let's say about us and we will also copy it and let's say actually let's say this is contact us let's save it so here we can see like uh, the, the, all this thing has been created so but this is uh, uh, act actually as i explained that all this thing is a column so flex direction is column so it is occupying all of this all of the whole column so it is not in row so so we can change it to row so now it looks to be much better and uh, one more thing which we can do is we can also see we can also give some colors right so let's create some other and by the, by the way like if we need to use uh, multiple uh, CSS classes so we can provide an array also so let's say we will name it styles dot one so we will uh, definitely we need to create the other css class one and uh, we will provide a background color as red and let's also create some some more so one two and one more and let's call it three and let's change the color from red to say blue and this one is yellow let's save it and uh, we need to provide the second css class here so styles dot card and styles dot two 
we should do the same over here as well the third card and uh, styles dot three right let's save it so now it looks good so it is uh, uh, rows aligned and we can provide it to flux direction change the flux direction to column so now although it is uh, uh, it is happening but actually you can see like it is uh, not actually taking the effect so let's change one more thing that we want it to provide a fixed width and height so let's say width of 100 and uh, uh, height as 100 let's save it and now it looks good so it is appearing as a as a button kind of thing right so this is this is what we wanted to achieve so let's change it from column to row and let me reload it is there any problem with it why it is not taking effect maybe i'll need to restart it okay so let me see what wrong we are doing so this is our card okay i think like we are providing it at a wrong place so this is our outer container and we need should we should provide the flex direction over here let us see now let us change it from change it from column to row yes so now it looks much better so let us uh, also add some padding over here as well so padding 10 and in the card also let us provide some margin margin to 5 yes so now it looks much better so it looks like uh, as if uh, we it, this is a kind of buttons right so we can also right now this is not visible much visible so we need to provide some other properties over here so we will also go with create some other css classes let's say text class and uh, inside this text class we will need to have color as mm, i think black would look good so triple zero triple zero and uh, also have some font weight font weight as bold and now we will use this text class in our this text components so here also we will apply some style equals styles dot we will simply copy this out and we will paste it out here one more time let's see yes it is much better so it looks good so we can also we can always uh, play with it and uh, we can give it a try uh, how it looks good and uh, so this is how like our our uh, home screen starts looking good however there are there is there is still there are there are, there are many things that uh, we can do we can achieve and uh, the more we can play with it so the more we will have a better ui so let me remove reduce padding here from 5 10 to 5 let's see and here also padding 25 to let's say 20. it's 
testify content and one more property we will need to use it align items so that our content should appear at the very middle so from top bottom right left so it now it looks see in a synchronized way so it looks good so we can also increase the font size as well font size and let's say go with how about 16 let's see so 16 is also good so i mean uh, we can just uh, we just give it a try and play with it and uh, we can achieve uh, de definitely we can achieve it on a very beautiful we can de de definitely yes we can build a very beautiful ui using react native so till then so let's wind up this session today and uh, i am going to provide all the source code in my github repository so i will provide the link in the in the video description so you can uh, take reference from there as well okay so till then take care and if you have any questions so please uh, do let me know and i'll try to answer them uh, as soon as possible so till then take care and happy coding